Hi. In this review, we will check the new kit from Brengen Company, and as you can see, it's Bowman was BV40, and it was a German glider fighter, as it's written on the box. Now this kit is made, uh, produced in the 70 second scale, and as you can see, it's supplied in this not so big box. On the top, we have this nice box art with BV40 gliding over some field. On the sides there is some basic information about the model. On the back there is a painting guide. I will zoom it a bit. Okay, so this one would be more interesting. So here is first prototype and sixth prototype. Not like a huge big difference but anyway Two paint schemes are included. Box is usually usually a mm, top side opening and what we see inside. Inside we see this small plastic bag with manual, decals, and what's there? I think P sheet and decal sheet. Let's open it and check everything closely. Okay. Assembled model won't be that big. Uh, recently on Motion I saw one assembled model and it was really tiny. But still nice. Okay, so here are contents. Uh, as you can see, the cows, P sheet, and the clear part. Also sprue with parts and assembly manual. Let's go one by one and check everything carefully. Okay, mm so here we have the only first and only sprue and it contains of course fuselage halves which are molded nicely. They have recessed panel lines and I would say it's Really interesting molding. No cockpit detailization inside, by the way. So, if you want something more serious, you will have to work on it. Okay, so what else? Wings are also molded on the same sprue, but they're molded as single parts, so you won't have to join two parts in order to receive one half. As you can see, it's molded from this side and from this side. Both wings have recessed panel lines. It's really nice, I would say. Wheels are also really detailed, I would say, for such a kit. Okay, now you see it. As you can see, it's really good molding, good accurate, no flash on parts and no any other possible disadvantages or problems really good okay we move on next is a okay next is content is a small plastic bag and here we have small clear sprue. I would show it like this. It's not bad, but you have to cut out really tiny masks, so get ready. <laughs> then comes a uh, small PE sheet. Here, I'm sure we do this. Of course, there are some external parts, and I think also internal ones. What we have to specify now in the manual. And the call sheet, it's there is no info where it was printed, but quality is. 
reasonably good, I would say. You have all necessary symbols, of course, no stencils, but otherwise it's good. Okay, and assembly menu. I will zoom it out a bit. Now we refocus the camera. And here we have. So, you have the parts map. You have also here, I would say, pretty understandable instructions on how to assemble this model. And we see that what comes here. Yep, those triangles are internal parts. And that's pretty much all. All other parts go outside, as you can see. And here, uh, all models, model range of the brain gun. And here you can see the new model, which will be released soon. The seven two zero fourteen. It's ramming fighter, so it should be interesting to assemble as well. So, what can I say? I think uh, this kit would be interesting if you want to assemble something really interesting and special. Because for me, for example, when I saw today this uh, small, tiny model in assembled state, it was really interesting to see. And it was like not like any other usual subjects like Focke Wolves or Messer Schmitz, but still interesting. So check out the full review on our website and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to check our Facebook group. And see you soon!